We're going to compare two halves and two fifths, trying to figure out which one is bigger. Now, remember, we always start with one whole, and it needs to be the same for both fractions. Then we're going to cut it up and get a piece or two. The numerator tells us how many pieces we get. So in this case, let's take a look here. On the left with two halves, this is our numerator, it's two. That's the number of pieces you're going to get. On the right, the numerator is also two. So with two fifths, you're also getting two pieces. So the numerators are the same, so it doesn't actually help us compare. So we need to look at the denominators. The denominators help us see how that rectangle is getting split up and therefore the size of the pieces. For example, this rectangle is going to be split into halves. This rectangle is going to be split into fifths. Which rectangle do you think will have bigger pieces? Let's look. Here's a rectangle cut into halves. Here's a rectangle cut into fifths. Which one has bigger pieces? The one on the left has bigger pieces because if you're only sharing with two people, you're going to get a pretty big piece. Now, since the numerator is the same, you're going to get two pieces either way, but let's go ahead and fill it in. So on the left, you're going to get two halves. And on the right, you're going to get two fifths. Which one of those is a bigger fraction? Two halves is definitely bigger because you only had to split it into two and you got both of them. Two halves is also equal to one whole. Now, let's draw our greater than or less than symbol. And I always think of it as an alligator, like with teeth and it's going to open towards the bigger fraction. So in this case, we're going to draw it this way, opening up towards two halves, and we would read this as two halves is greater than two fifths.